Hey, what's up? It's Justin Brooke from AdSkills.com, and this is what AI built this week. So let's go ahead. I've been working on the website, and I've been specifically working on the blog. I showed you last week that I built this little blog admin center where I can connect it with Agility Writer, and I can upload markdown files. That way, Manus is writing my blog posts and storing them in Google Drive, and then I can download them from Google Drive as markdown files and upload them into here. And So I've got AI able to write all my blog posts for me, uh, but we didn't really have all the SEO features that I wanted to see on my blog. So I edited, I used Replit to edit our, uh, our edit modal is what it's called. Uh, one of the things I did is I made this little box smaller because it was the full length of the blog post. This is a 3,000 word blog post, so it's a really long box. So I shortened that. There's a little scroll wheel in here, but then if I kind of come over to the side, I can scroll down here. And you can see now we've got excerpts, meta titles, descriptions, featured image URLs, OG tags, uh, canonical URL. So I've got the full SEO suite that I need to make sure that my pages are uh, you know, good for technical SEO. So we can make sure that the keywords are in title tags and in the articles and links and all that stuff. Uh, next thing that we need to do is start creating some linking structure. So I'm really happy with the editor now. Uh, I've got all the SEO features that I need to have on my blog. I'll click out of that and I'll go ahead and show you the updates we made to the blog itself in design. So one of the things that I did, actually, let me go back. I want to show you real quick. If I go back into the edit here, one of the things you might miss uh, something here. So in the OG image URL, normally you'd have to share this, you know, this URL and you have to go op upload it somewhere else and then paste the URL into here. I, that seemed cumbersome. So I had it build me a feature where I can just upload directly to my site right here. So I can click this button and then I can go find the image on my desktop that I made in Canva or wherever and then uh, it'll just add that in there. So when I click upload, it grabs it from my desktop and then saves the image, stores the image. It's using uh, Google Cloud, stores the image and then gives me a URL. And then I also said, it's like, all right, well, I want this to be strategic. So when I upload an OG image, but which by the way, that's for uh, open graph tags are for when you're sharing your website. So if you're sharing and you wanna make sure that when you share it to Facebook or LinkedIn or in text messages or whatever, you want to make sure the right image shows up, the right title, the right description, so that's very uh, so you have a higher click-through rate when your articles get shared. Then you need open graph tags. So I wanted to be very uh, strategic. So I made sure that it built the feature so that when somebody myself uploads an OG tag, an OG image it's also going to use that image as the blog thumbnail. That way it looks good on the website as well as looks good when it's shared. So let me click out of that and go back to the blog and you'll see this is the OG image that I uploaded and it looks clean, you know, it's really nice. And so now when somebody shares this, it will use this image and then I just have to update the titles and stuff like that. I made the button red, I uh, added this little social media share feature here, that way people can share our articles easy. When you click that button, it gives you these different share links and then you can very easily share our articles. So that's gonna help us get some more traffic. And then if I, uh, down here at the bottom, I made sure that there is a featured courses area on the blog list page. And then I also made sure that that's on the blog post page. So if I scroll down, this is the blog post. I need to add the image up here. I'm just debating whether or not I want an image at the top of my blog post. But that's kind of where I'm at now is just kind of touching up some of the little designs. We've got full SEO features, full AI writing capabilities, and now we've got social sharing as well. I added this little feature to the bottom of the articles so that when they're done reading, they can very easily share this article to their profiles. And then down here, we've got our featured courses as well. So that as we're driving SEO traffic, and I actually like to drive Google ad traffic as well as social media ad traffic to my blog post, we'll be able to monetize that because we've got the featured courses down here and then we can get some share traffic off of that as well. So that's all the stuff I did to my website. Really happy with that. I went ahead and updated our version number down here to version 0.2.0. And for me, that kind of just symbolizes that like we have a fully functioning website now, full SEO features, AI writing capabilities, and now we're just kind of 
going to grow this website from here. Now, that's not the only thing I built. I didn't build a lot of stuff this week, but the stuff that I built was really cool, very useful. This right here is a Google Ads cold email agent. And so our higher level ad skills customers, they get access to the agents that I build. Not only do they get access to them, but we also let them resell the agents. And so one of the things that they need is they need to be able to have an agent that helps them get leads so that they can sell more agents. You know, and so I built them this agent that helps them get more leads. And so what it does, I'll just kind of walk you through it. Um, it starts with an input, which is just to enter a URL. And then that URL, we scrape it. We send it over to Hunter to grab emails for that URL. Then we do a bunch of deep research on all the people in the company and the, and the emails to find out who's who and backstory and all that. And you'll see why we do the deep research. That was, that was key. Before the deep research, this had only like a 60% reliability. It would sometimes find them, sometimes not find the right person. So we had to do the deep research. And then I had to add like a marketing intern agent in the middle of this because the marketing intern's job is to sift through all the deep research because it comes back with like 3,000 to 10,000 words of information. So the marketing intern sifts through the deep research to find who is the right contact and what's the key information we need from that right contact. It then displays that. So we get the prospect's email, the business website, and then it says, would you like me to generate a customized email script for this prospect? And so that's when it sends it over to the copywriter. And that's again, why we wanted to do the deep research because now we're passing this deep research and the contact information over to the copywriter and the copywriter is writing us a custom cold email script. So this agent, from start to beginning, it goes and finds you the leads and then writes you the cold email. And then all you got to do is copy paste that and send it out to the lead. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is this is a little slow because the deep research agent takes like four to five minutes. And so it's like four to five minutes for every lead that you want to get from here. Also, it only costs eight cents to run this thing. Every time you run it, it's about eight cents. So leads for eight cents. I think that's a great deal. But the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to update this so that it can run off of a spreadsheet of 100 URLs. That way we can load it up with 100 URLs. It's going to go and it's going to grab the emails for all 100. It's going to do the whole process for all 100 of them. And then we'll have the, you know, the custom cold emails. And then you can just start sending out those cold emails. So that's what I built this week. Uh, a lead gen cold emailing agent as well as full SEO features for my website. I'll see you next week. I'm Justin Brooke from AdSkills.com.